Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, I'm going to be talking about how to use a random node with another random node. And this might seem like a random thing to do, but it totally makes sense. So let's get to it. Before I begin, please show your support by hitting that like button and subscribe if you find this content useful. Hitting that like button lets YouTube know that if it's helpful for you, it might be helpful for others. BuildBox is a no-code game development software. And when you have a no-code software, you cannot just go in and type some random functions. I mean, I guess technically you could if you knew JavaScript, but because I can barely read JavaScript, it's important to utilize the randomization features that are available. And the the best way to make something random is to just use the random node and to make it more random is to use a random node on top of that random node. So let me show you an example in the latest game that I've been working on. Here we have a hexagon. This hexagon has random nodes attached to it which will allow it to go left or right, up or down. And jumping into the mind map, here we have the hexagon itself. And then I have it going to a random node with five outputs. This isn't the main piece of this video, but basically each each output is a time delay and then all the outputs go into the first random node. Now this random node causes the object to either move in the X direction or the Y direction and then you can see X or Y random. Now I used a wave node which is in the movement node and that just causes the object to go back and forth. So here it's moving in the X positive direction or it's moving in the X negative direction moving to the left. So here clearly the X random causes it to move left right and then the Y the same thing but moving down or up and as you can see what this does is by utilizing the random node with another random node it allows me to break everything up into an X coordinate where it moves negative X positive X into Y coordinates that move positive Y to negative Y and from here we can see how these all move in the X or Y direction and it gives it a much more random type of feel than would be if you just had it set up only only going in the X direction or only in the Y direction. So this is kind of like a shortcut. You can create the randomization based on a single point. Being able to utilize random nodes with other random nodes and connect it to multiple random nodes gives you the flexibility in your game to show the player something different each time the scene shows up. If the same scene keeps showing up, your players are going to notice and then your game will get boring quickly or your game will get very familiar quickly and you don't want that. You want the player to experience something new each time even though it's almost the same thing and utilizing the random nodes with the random nodes help achieve that. If you like this video please like and subscribe and if there's something you would like to see please let me know. Leave a comment below and I will see you next time. Peace.